Hi, my kindergarten friends. It's Mrs. Gorski back again. And today we are going to be doing a lesson about measuring weight with bears. So when I was in my last video, we were just talking about two items and we were seeing which one was heavier versus which one was lighter. Well, today things are going to change because I don't have those tops on my um, balance or my scale anymore. What I am going to be using, I'm actually going to be using different objects and I'm going to be putting bears inside one of the buckets in order to see how many bears will equal to the amount of weight of the item I'm using. So first of all, let's talk about what we're going to be using here as our main tool, which is here our bucket balance. People could also call them scales. It all depends on what you would like to call them. Now, we were talking about things last time when something was heavier, it went down to the ground. When something was lighter, it stayed raised. So what our main focus is today, not necessarily heavier or lighter, but equal. Things that are going to make it exactly the same. And when we do that, notice how I have this green arrow and this blue line that should be lining up right close to be practically touching each other in order to show equal or balance. So basically that's exactly what we're going to be doing. We're also going to be using bears as our weight piece. And let me show you exactly what we're going to be weighing today. We have quite a few things here. I have a brand new pencil, a brand new crayon, a brand new big glue stick, it's a big one. I have a brand new eraser. I have a marker. I have a book, and if you look at this book, it has those cardboard pages, so it is a little heavy here. I have an empty soup box. So you know it's empty, nothing in there. And I have an envelope. So you don't have to worry about the letters that are on these particular items. It was just for me to um, organize them a little bit better. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just pick a random item and I'm going to put it in one side. And then I'm going to start putting bears in the other side to see how we're going to make them equal. So let's start with something easy. Let's go ahead and start with the eraser. Now, I want you to think, thinking about this eraser, I'm going to let you look at it. How many bears do you think it's going to take to equal the weight of this eraser. Some of you might know, some of you might be taking some guesses, some of you might not, and that's totally fine. So we're gonna find out right now. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put the eraser on the one side, so notice how it's very heavy, so it goes all the way down, but now I'm gonna start putting bears in this side, and the more bears I put in, you're going to notice how this is now going to start to change. So, here we go. One, two, three, four. Oh my goodness. Four. Let's try one more. Five. Oh, that might be too much. Let's take that one out. Let's what is it down here? Ooh. Let me see if I can add that one bear back in and let's see how it changes things a little bit. Hmm. Well, I would say that might be our closest bet. It might not be super, super perfect, but it's pretty, pretty close. Pretty close. Because if I take the one bear out, it might be too light. And if I put this bear in, it's just 
a tiny bit heavier, but it's really close. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this out. Here's our eraser. And let's count again the number of bears. So we have one, two, three, four, five bears. Five bears to equal the weight of this eraser. I wonder if some of you said bears, uh, five bears out there. All right, so hold on, get ready for a new one. Okay, boys and girls, we are back. I think I might want to go ahead and do the big glue stick. So think about it. How many bears do you think it's going to take for the big glue stick? Oh my goodness, that was certainly a heavy one. So let's see. I'm just going to grab a couple bears, just like this. And I'm just going to put them right in because I know this is a heavier item. And look, I put those four bears in and it hasn't budged yet. I'm going to grab another couple bears. Ooh. Oh, it's moving now. Grab a few more bears. Oh, goodness. Too, too heavy. Too heavy. We gotta make this equal. Okay. Let me see if I add that one more bear in again. Let's see what happens. Now I still think that's too too heavy. Let's take that one bear out. I think we're gonna be better off with this one. Okay, so we got some counting to do. So here we have again, we have our glue stick. And let's count these bears. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine bears, nine bears to equal the weight of this big glue stick. Wow. Bigger the item, the heavier the item, obviously the more bears you're going to need. All right, hold tight, get ready for a new one. And we are back. I am going to put in my trusty envelope. Let's see how this is gonna work. Okay, now looking at that, it's not really heavy at all. It hasn't even go down to the floor yet. So let's see, I'm not gonna put in many bears at one time this time. I only might do one bear at a time. So let's see. Ooh. I think that might be it. I think that might be it. Look at that. Very close to being equal there. So, for our envelope, we only needed one bear. That's all we needed because it's very light. Okay, let's go right into our next one. Oh, you know what? Let's do that book. Let's do this book. Think about how many bears it might take to measure this book because it was nine for the glue stick. This one might be a little heftier. So let's see what we're gonna get. Oh, that is certainly heavy. So let's see, I'm gonna do what I did for the glue stick. I'm just gonna put like a couple bears at a time. See, I have four right now. Oh, hasn't even budged yet. Put another four bears. Nope, no budging yet. Another couple bears. Huh, no budging yet. Oh, might start moving a little bit now. Oh, oh still no, 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 but it's coming off the ground. Oh, goodness, too many. 
take out two beers and see what I get. That might be my closest bet. That might be my closest bet. All right. So here's that book. Let's count these bears. Oh my gosh. I'm going to actually take out the other bucket to help me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 bears. A two and a one make 21. That's our biggest one yet. Wow. That book was heavy. I knew it. All right, boys and girls, hold tight. We just have a few more items. Okay, we're back. Let's try this box, empty box. Let's see. I hope it's going to fit in a little bit for me. I just might have to put it on like that because it just can't fit in the, in the bucket there. So let's see. Since it's really light, I'm going to only put in so many bears at a time. So let's see. We'll start with these two. Ooh. Try another one. Let's try one more bear, one more. I think that might be the ticket. I think that might be the winner. Look at how close it is. So for our soup box, we had one, two, three, Four bears. That's all we needed for that one. That was our soup box. Let's go to the crayon. Let's try this one. I'm putting him in. Crayon's really light. Sometimes it doesn't even hit the floor there. So I'm going to be easy with my bears this time again. Let's see. One bear. Let's see if I put one more bear in. Let's see what happens. Oh. I think that might be a bit too heavy. It's not going to be super perfect, boys and girls, but it's going to be as close as I can make it. So for our crayon, looks like we only have... One bear again, just like we did for the envelope. All right, two more items. We have this brand new pencil. Let's put him in. Okay, let's try this. I'm only, since it's, it's a light item, I'm only going to do one bear at a time. Ooh. Let's try one more bear. Let's see what happens. Oh, boys and girls, I think again, two bears might be too much. Well, I think that's the closest I'm going to get it, boys and girls. So again, for our pencil, just like our crayon, one bear did the trick. That made it equal. Now, let's finish up with our marker. Okay, here we go. That one looks a little more heavy there. I'm going to start with two bears this time. Ooh, let's see. Let me see if I put one more bear. Uh, I think, I think it might be a little too much. One bear too many. Let 
even though it might not be super perfect, boys and girls, I think this is the closest that I'm going to make it here. So for our marker, we needed just two bears. Well, boys and girls, I certainly hope that you enjoyed our little tutorial on measuring with bears and making equal weights. Um, have a great day, and I'll be talking to you soon. Bye, everyone.